Hey fellow explorers, welcome back to World Facts Unraveled. Today we're diving deep into one of nature's most intriguing phenomena, the apparent non-mixing of the Pacific and Atlantic Oceans. Have you ever wondered why these massive bodies of water which are right next to each other seem to avoid blending? Well stick around because we're about to uncover the science behind this oceanic mystery. Let us embark on a journey beneath the waves to unravel this enigma. Imagine being in the Gulf of Alaska, where a remarkable clear line seems to separate these two vast bodies of water. Yes, a line that tells a tale of two oceans refusing to blend. What's the secret behind this? Is it magic or is it science? Stay tuned as we dive deeper into this oceanic mystery. But before we get into the details, let's establish some facts. The Pacific and Atlantic Oceans meet at the southern tip of South America, particularly around Cape Horn. Despite being in close proximity, these two oceans have different properties that contribute to their distinct identities. So, as we dig deeper into this mystery, it's important to understand that the Pacific and Atlantic Oceans have different levels of salinity. Now, you may be wondering what exactly is salinity? Well, in the simplest of terms, salinity refers to the total amount of salts dissolved in seawater. It's a bit like making a cup of tea. The more salt or tea you add, the saltier or stronger it becomes. Now, imagine the Atlantic Ocean as a strong brew of tea, packed with flavor or in this case, salt. The Pacific Ocean on the other hand is more like a mild, light cup of tea, with less salt. The Atlantic Ocean has a higher salinity level compared to the Pacific Ocean. This is primarily due to the Atlantic's smaller size and its interaction with the Mediterranean Sea, which is extremely salty. The saltier the water, the denser it is. Think of it this way. If you tried to mix a spoonful of sugar into a cup of hot water it would dissolve easily. But if you tried the same with cold water the sugar wouldn't dissolve as quickly. Similarly, the denser, saltier water of the Atlantic doesn't mix easily with the less salty, less dense water of the Pacific. So why does this matter? Well, this difference in salinity creates a sort of natural boundary between the two oceans. It's like they're two distinct entities with their own unique characteristics. The difference in salinity between the two oceans is a key factor in why they do not mix. Another significant factor that separates the Pacific and Atlantic Oceans is their temperature. Yes, you heard it right, temperature. Just like in your home where different rooms might have different temperatures, our oceans aren't all the same temperature either. They're like vast liquid rooms on our planet, each with its own unique climate and characteristics. Now the Atlantic Ocean is generally warmer than the Pacific. But why you might ask? Well this is largely due to geographical location and current patterns. For instance, the Gulf Stream, a powerful, warm and swift Atlantic current, plays a crucial role in keeping the Atlantic warmer. On the other hand, the Pacific, especially its northern and southern extremities, is often cooler due to the influence of cold currents such as the California and Peru currents. These currents transport cooler water from the poles towards the equator, resulting in a generally colder Pacific. Now here's the crux of the matter. This difference in temperatures between the two oceans creates a kind of thermal barrier. Warmer and cooler waters don't mix easily because they have different densities. So, just like oil and water, the warmer Atlantic and the cooler Pacific resist mixing. This is not to say that there isn't any exchange at all between the two oceans. But the difference in temperature does significantly limit the extent of their mixing. So, the difference in temperature is another vital reason behind this phenomenon. The density of the water in the Pacific and Atlantic Oceans also plays a crucial role in their inability to mix. Let's break it down. Density is essentially how much stuff is packed into a particular volume. In the context of our oceans, this stuff is the amount of salt and other minerals dissolved in the water combined with the temperature of the water itself. Recall how we mentioned the disparity in salinity and temperature between the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans? Well, these differences culminate in a density differential. The Atlantic Ocean is denser than the Pacific Ocean, but what does that mean exactly? When two bodies of water with different densities meet, the denser one tends to sink beneath the less dense one. This is due to the gravitational force acting more on the denser water, pushing it down. In our case, the denser Atlantic Ocean water sinks beneath the less dense Pacific Ocean water. This sinking action creates a sort of barrier that prevents the two bodies of water from mixing, kind of like oil and water. The warmer, less salty and therefore less dense Pacific Ocean water floats on top of the colder, saltier and denser Atlantic Ocean water. So you see, it's not that the Pacific and Atlantic Oceans have some sort of grudge against each other, it's simply the laws of physics at work, dictating their interaction based on their respective densities. 
So, the density difference is the final piece of the puzzle explaining why these two oceans do not mix. So, why don't the Pacific and Atlantic Oceans mix? That's the question we've been exploring today. Let's summarize what we've learned. The first thing to remember is salinity. Salinity, or the saltiness of the water, is a crucial component that differentiates the Pacific from the Atlantic. The Atlantic Ocean, with its higher evaporation rates and saltier waters, contrasts with the Pacific Ocean, which has lower salinity due to its larger size and higher rainfall. This difference in salinity creates a distinct boundary that prevents the two oceans from mixing freely. Next, we moved on to the temperature factor. The temperature of the water greatly influences the behavior of the oceans. The Atlantic Ocean, being closer to the poles, is generally colder than the Pacific Ocean. This difference in temperature leads to variations in the density of the water, another factor that hinders the mixing of the two oceans. And that brings us to the third factor, density. The density of water is determined by both its temperature and its salinity. Because the Atlantic is both saltier and colder, its water is denser than that of the Pacific. This difference in density forms a barrier, almost like an invisible wall, preventing the waters of the two oceans from blending together. It's fascinating, isn't it? How these invisible factors of salinity, temperature and density create boundaries within our vast oceans. How they shape the behavior of the water, guiding its movement, and determining which waters can mix and which cannot. It's a testament to the complex and intricate workings of nature. So next time when you gaze at the oceans, remember the invisible boundaries that keep them apart. Remember the unique qualities of the Pacific and the Atlantic and the silent unseen forces that prevent their waters from blending. It's a beautiful reminder of the intricacy and diversity of our planet and the endless wonders it holds. It's a fascinating dance of nature that reminds us of the complexity and interconnectedness of our planet's ecosystems. If you enjoyed this exploration of oceanic mysteries, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more content. And as always, let us know in the comments if there's a topic you'd like us to cover in future videos. Until next time stay curious and keep exploring.